Good evening, everyone. It is about 11 degrees Fahrenheit here in South Carolina. That's about negative 11 degrees Celsius. And uh, we've got the RF fixture here outside. It's been out here for several hours um, since early in the evening. It's about one o'clock in the morning now. Should be nice and cold. And uh, we're gonna see how well it starts up. I'm not sure this has ever been tested on a video. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, we just have a little glow at the end. It did not start up. I'm going to leave it on and see if it uh, comes on. I don't know if you can see it. We've got a little orange glow at this end. It scared me. <laughs> Look at that. She fired up. Super dim. This ends really bright just around the electrode there. It's weird that it looks orange on camera. I don't see that in person. Seems like it went away. This end has kind of a bluish glow to it. Well, this end is looking pretty purple in person. Doesn't show up well on camera. I expect this thing to heat up pretty quickly because uh, these things run pretty hot. Still not nearly at full brightness. It's putting out usable light. It's still brighter at the ends than in the middle, but not by much. Got a little bit of flicker there. Slowly approaching normal brightness. Let's see how warm the tube is. Uh, it's definitely warming up, but it's not a anywhere near normal operating temp. I won't let it run much longer because uh I don't think the small difference in brightness from this point forward is going to show up well on camera. Got some of the mercury condensation uh, vaporizing away.
Yeah, this is pretty much normal brightness, still a little dim. But like I said, I don't think any further increase in brightness is going to be noticeable on the video. All right, well, that's it. I just wanted to try that out and share the experience with all of you. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll be uploading more again in the future. Have a good one.